All right, guys, we are back in my hometown, Gehenna, Ohio, where gunshots don't wake babies. So we're gonna check out this garage sale right here. I wanted to show you guys this, get it on video because it might not be here. I'm going to community sales tomorrow and I've got some stuff to do uh, this weekend. Play, play golf, you know, the important stuff. But uh, um, I picked this up at thrift store for $8. It's a maple skateboard. I love the graphics, love the color, love the design on this thing. Looks very cool. Does need some bearing work. Wheels don't spin that great, but for $8, I figured that was a great investment. $17.99. I was thinking about selling this, but guys, man, I am having second thoughts because this thing is very, very cool and I don't collect Atari. So uh, this is the Atari 2600. This is the Vader edition. Now, if you're not uh, familiar with Atari, I'll just give you the quick rundown. There's a heavy sixer. It has uh, six switches, so there'd be another switch there and another switch there. The console's very heavy. It was manufactured in California. They then switched the manufacturing over to Hong Kong, where they made a six switch console that was light. That one's called the Light Sixer. As console generations go on, you guys know this, we've seen this uh, time and time again. They wanna make consoles cheaper. So they started making four switch consoles. The first one actually had wood grain on the front, but the two buttons aren't the way of the dodo, right? They're on the back here. It's just uh, player one and player two difficulty. Then the fourth iteration was this beautiful uh, black console with the red and white highlights and then down here on the front. This is what I, I love. Like, I'm in love with this uh, Atari 2600. This is in silver So it looks really really nice uh, Came with the controller the power cable came with this joystick thingy that doesn't work now I have a 2600 in the box right there, but I never busted out and play the Atari 2600. I, I use emulators uh, so I Cleaned it fired right up man. I couldn't be more happy with this and it looks so damn cool. So I will probably end up keeping that. And if some of you guys are wondering what this is right here, a lot of you guys, this is what I love about you guys. My audience is like, I think my audience is the smartest audience on YouTube because you guys notice stuff in the background. Like, hey man, uh, I noticed you got this and <laughs> it wasn't in a pickup video yet. And I'm like, damn it, I forgot to move that. But this is how I package my controllers when I sell them on eBay. I test them, I clean them, and then I put them in these poly bags. And then when I sell them, I put them in boxes. I was sure somebody was going to ask me about that, but anyway, tell me what your favorite Atari 2600 game is down in the comment section down below. Mine's either Jungle Hunt or Moon Patrol. Now let's go hit some yard sales. All right, guys, it is uh, Friday morning, 7.15. We're going to hit the ATM. We got a quick sale that's close by at 8. And then uh, as the the, uh, the garage sale gods would have it, we have a community sale at nine, so we're not gonna really miss either. But uh, let the adventure begin. There's a golf course that uh, we're gonna be playing later. We got a tee time for uh, 1 p.m. So whatever we're doing at noon, noon 30, we gotta stop and come back so we can make our tee time.
How's it going? Good. I'd ask you if you made a million bucks yet, but it looks like you're still setting up. Yeah. First, head first customer already, though. Oh, good. Uh, cool, thanks. Maybe just, if you find several things, maybe we can work a deal, huh? All right. All right, guys, we are leaving that sale there. Uh, this is the, the community that we're in today, man. Very nice out here in Galena, out in the sticks. I should probably put my seatbelt on. Um, all right, we'll do that. Shut up, car. Shut up, car. But um, this is a very young community. Lots of uh, young parents, lots of young children <laughs> running around. And... Uh, not a lot of like video game stuff, old electronics. But that, that last sale we were at, man, <laughs> you know, dad's out there, it's Friday, he's putting stuff out, he's running around with the kids. The mom comes out of the house through the garage door and she looks like she's just been run through the freaking ringer, man. She, uh, <laughs> she just had this look on her face like, I am so done with these kids. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, let's check down here. But this whole community is supposed to be having a sale. It's like 8.38 and uh, it's supposed to open up at 9. So I'm sure there's some people that are like, I'm not opening my door until 9. But uh, we will uh, we'll continue to hunt. Hello, how are you? Good. Don't get set up. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. I like being the first one. <laughs> At least you have these Disney Infinity figures. Do you have any games? Um, I don't have the Disney Infinity game, but that whole box, I was asking 10 bucks. 10 bucks, huh? Right, that may be the worst sign of all time. ATM in rear. Just think about that. Tough going today, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I did pick up some stuff, but um, you know, 90% of the sales, I'm asking, you got any video game stuff, big boxes of Legos, you know, the, the spiel. And uh, everybody's saying the same thing. You know, all my kids are, you know, less than five, so we don't have that stuff yet, or, you know, they gave it away. I did leave my number with some lady. She said she has an N64. Uh, I don't know. We're going to keep going, but we're going to start heading home because it's after 10. So, I don't know. We'll see. Yep, that one right there, uh, classic. Seeing more and more of those this year than I think I've ever have before. I don't know if it's COVID thing or just kind of the sign of the times, I guess. But uh, buys pallets and uh, overstock and all kinds of stuff and then resells it at his garage sale. And he's telling that lady, you know, all oh, these flashlights are $10 in a store and you know, I'm selling for five. That's, that's, about, what I, that's about what I paid for them. And I'm like, Jesus, man. I don't know if there's just got a bunch, bunch more people out of jobs, and that, that's what they're resorting to is uh, 
buying like Amazon pallets or Walmart pallets or whatever. So if you guys have any uh, any comments, questions, concerns, bitches, gripes, complaints on that, leave a comment down below. Let me try and straighten that out. All right, guys, we are back from uh, the garage sales. And uh, we didn't get too much stuff, but we did get some stuff. It's still kind of crooked. We're going to shoot from this angle today from sitting in the chair at my desk. Just because we got like boxes and briefcases and stuff. Yes, we got a briefcase. Walked up to the garage sale, saw it on the ground. The stuff inside, there was a sticky note that said free. I said, is this all free? She was like, yeah, we just thought maybe if somebody wanted one, they could take one. <laughs> so I started closing the box, I'm closing the briefcase. And she goes, you're gonna take all of them? Like I was gonna take like all the free stuff that people were just pining over to get, right? I was like, well, I'd give you like five bucks for it. Is that cool? She's like, you're gonna give me five dollars for that? I'm like, yeah. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, is that okay? She's like, yeah, that's fine. So inside the magic briefcase is a bunch of cassette tapes. We got uh, Kate Bush. Who's this? Yes, Union. There's a free thing. Uh, let's see, we got the Rolling Stones Greatest Hits, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the uh, soundtrack, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Frank Zappa. I've never seen these cases before, like pink cassette tape. Uh, the J. Giles Band, America, Hideaway. The best of John McLaughlin, Doug Walters, Judith Priest, Kiss Alive 2, Ted Nugent, Neil Young, Yes, Crosby, Stills and Nash, another Rolling Stones greatest hits. What's this one? Kiss Dynasty, Crosby, Stills and Nash, U2 Live, Elton John. Janis Joplin in concert. I will be keeping that one. I'm gonna put that one over there. We got uh, ABBA's Greatest Hits. Probably keep that one. <laughs> we got uh, Humble Pie, Eat It. Uh, Van Halen. Jackson Brown. Deep Purple, Nobody's Perfect. It's a good one. Phil Keegan, hope I'm saying that right. It's not like he's gonna come here and kick my ass if I say his name wrong. Uh, Genesis Second Outs. Probably keep that one. I like Genesis. Uh, Poco Under the Gun. Eric Clapton. The Beatles 67 to 70. The Beatles Volume 3. Van Halen. Women and Children First. Like, this thing is just stacked. Uh, the Doors. Mar Morrison Hotel. Uh, some more of the Beatles. Uh, Joni Mitchell System 2 Dual Action Tape Deck Cleaner I'm sure that's probably worth a couple bucks I was kind of excited about this one Prince, we'll keep Prince I'm a huge Prince guy I can't even read this one, White Snake The Doors Neil Young Jim Crochet Barbara Mandrell Nazareth, Hair of the Dog, that's a good one. Melanie, Leftover Wine. The Cars, Shake It Up. Look at that, Van Halen 2. Van Halen, Fair Warning. Mike and the Mechanics. Nine Points of Roguery. Stevie Ray Vaughan. And uh, the last one is Blue Oyster Colt. So, a huge collection of cassette tapes for only $5. What a deal. All right, you guys. So, in the video, we picked up this box of Disney Infinity. <clears throat> she wanted $10 for the box. Didn't have the game. Uh, really the cream of the crop. You guys saw it in the video. Uh, so, for $10 for the whole box, Black Suit Spider-Man or Symbiote Suit Spider-Man. Uh, this one goes for about $30 to $40. So, we'll sell that one. It will pay for the whole day. And... Um, we got uh, an Iron Man with a broken arm, so get rid of that one. This one's a really cool figure. I like this uh, this sculpt of the Falcon. Translucent orange wings. Uh, who's that, Nova? Maybe. It's cool. Uh, Black Panther. Some of these uh, versions, the 3.0 versions, 
They sell for good money. I think it's because they didn't make them that much longer after version 3 came out. Or so Tyler was kind of telling me about it. There's Vision, Iron Man and Vision, uh, Stitch, Hawkeye, Captain America, America, Hulk, Ultron, Thor, Black Widow, Ant-Man, a couple of these uh, crystal pieces. I'm sure they're like power enhancers or something. I forget who Tyler, Tyler knew who this was. I forgot who it was, something. But uh, yeah, oh, and it came with the pad. So for 10 bucks, I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. You guys may have may have seen it in the first uh, first part of the video there. Garage Channel was the one that was close. Uh, they had a couple DS games. They were two dollars a piece. I asked her if she would do. Uh, I think I asked her if she'd do a dollar each for the five, and I'd just buy all five. She said, "No, I can't." I said, "Okay, well, I'll take these three. They were two dollars each, so six bucks." I said, "Would you do five for the three? She said, "Yeah." So we got Lego Harry Potter, uh, years five through seven. How to Train Your Dragon and uh, Lego Indiana Jones. Not high dollar items there, but great console bundlers. Uh, you know, stuff to give away to the nieces and nephews and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. I uh, got these at a garage sale. Also, the lady had 50 cents or four for a dollar. They were kind of mixed in with the DVDs. We got uh, Conflict Desert Storm for 25 cents. It's missing the manual. I think all these are missing the manual. Uh, we got Pac-Man World 2. Big Mother Truckers. I am going to have to play that. I don't think I've ever played that game. Uh, these discs were all kind of scratched, so they're all going to need to be resurfaced. And the one that I'm going to get my dollar back on, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I think I just sold a complete copy of this for about 20 bucks. So I'm thinking $13.99 plus shipping is probably fair on that one. But... I'm glad to get these because I stopped at Goodwill and you guys know that some of these sports games go for a lot of money. College football 14, college basketball 10. So we picked up college basketball nine, which, you know, 10 selling for like 80, 90 bucks. This one's still selling for like 40 or 50. Complete with the manual. Disc on this was pretty scratched. So uh, yeah, now we've got five discs to buff out instead of one exciting stuff all right last stop of the day well the last thing i'm going to show you wasn't the last stop of the day it was like maybe the fifth sale but um i asked if she had any video game stuff she was like well we got this box of stuff over here and i'm kind of looking at it. it's kind of older stuff like pre-nintendo stuff which i'm not really into unless i can get it dirt cheap she said well, we got a bag of game boy games or something around here so i bundled that up i found something else put it in here I said, what do you want for it? And she said, make an offer. And I said, well, the Game Boy games are five and this thing is five. How about 20 bucks? She hit me with 25. I said, throw in this and you can have 25. So she was like, sure. A uh, Mario Kart phone. He's supposed to be holding a star, but uh, it's got the connecting cable. And look at that. That is crazy. Uh, I can't wait to sell the hell out of that because I'm sure as hell not going to keep it. So <laughs> we got that. And then we got this whole box of goodies for... Uh, for $25. Uh, first thing we got, this is a separate bag, which was weird, but it's an Atari 2600 uh, Flashback 2. So pick that up for five bucks. It's got the cords and the controllers. Then there was a bag of, I was hoping it was original Game Boy, but it's a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Color game. Again, for $5 for six games, can't really pass them up. Uh, how fitting lego alpha team hot wheels all out frogger adventures nascar heat 2002 and uh, little mermaid and as weirdness would have it i have the box and manual for this somewhere i just have to dig it out i think brett hamilton found that box and manual out of cash land in his area and just gave it to me so we might have little mermaid on game boy advance complete in box how exciting is that Again, no high dollar items, which is okay, but, you know, it's always good to have stuff around that you can bundle with consoles or, you know, use as testers and stuff like that. All right, so the last thing we, we picked up, or I'm going to show you, god damn it, I keep saying that. Uh, it's a bunch of, like, pre-Nintendo stuff, so it's a lot of, like, Commodore. But uh, we got a bag of cables. 
got, uh, what is this? We got the uh, command control joystick. We got that joystick. We got a couple of these joysticks. I have no idea what these are worth. This is not an area that I, I get into. We got two of these uh, Gravis, Gravis control sticks. It's kind of cool. We got the button on the top. We got a manual for it. Like I said, we got two of those. This was kind of cool, even though I don't do Commodore 64, but it's the Commodore 64, it's the tape deck. And then we've got a couple games here. We've got uh, Simon's Basic, Magic Desk 1. I could not figure out what this is. Uh, so if anybody out there, if you know what this is, let me know. Well, I kind of know what it is. It's some kind of programming cartridge. It's called the Victree, the Victree model VT-64. It's some kind of programming cartridge that has a, a switch on it, like an on-off switch or a system switch, something. But uh, I couldn't find a comp online to figure out what that thing was worth. So uh, I might hold on to it, do a little bit more research. We got uh, Pirate's Cove, exciting. Mission Impossible. And uh, Sargon 2 Chess with the manual. Now here are sort of the higher dollar type items because uh, they're in the box. So we got the uh, the Vic 20 Sargon 2 chess in the box. It's got stickers and crap all over it, but looks like everything's in there. Manual, cartridge. I thought this was cool. I, I knew I was going to buy this box as soon as I saw these two items. We got uh, Voodoo Castle. I was like, oh, that's got to be worth a couple bucks. Again, it's got the uh, the cartridge and uh, the manual and stuff in there. And then the last one is the count. Plugs directly into your VIC-20 computer. Look at that. That's <laughs> unbelievable. But uh, again, it looks like it's complete with the manual and everything in there. So pretty exciting. We'll get all of our money back on that. Don't worry about it. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it, I think. Yep. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this garage sale video. Like, comment, subscribe, share on social media, all that stuff. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you on the next one. All right, Tyler's playing his first Moon Patrol run. <laughs> Tell you, man, these Atari games are addicting. <laughs>